So let's talk about one of the biggest decisions we face in life, who we should marry, or more likely, who we want to spend the rest of our lives with. How should we think about that? Well, I think this is where the five C's come in very handy, because the first issue is clarify. First step in the process is clarify. Uh, clarify what it is you're looking for in life and what it is you're looking for in a partner. Um, but don't make the mistake of thinking about this like you're choosing pizza toppings because um, people are a lot more complicated than pizza. And um, you don't want to go by a list in your head. You want to go by how it feels to be with this person. And so the first thing is um, an attraction. You want to be attracted to this person, although that may not come first in terms of the development of the relationship. And then you want to feel comfortable with this person. And you want to feel that this person is going to further the goals that you have in life. And the second C is also very important, communicating with them. And when we talk about communicating, it's really about connecting and doing a lot of active listening and being open to changing your mind um, after you listen to them, having the uh, desire to establish healthy communication patterns early on, and maybe talking about some of the things that are uncomfortable to talk about, like the things that are important to you, your goals, your hopes and dreams. Um, those are very helpful to talk about early on in a relationship. Yes, I think you want to talk about um, where you think you might live, um, <clears throat> uh, whether you want to have children, um, uh, what kinds of careers you each want, whether you both want to uh, stay in the workforce after you have children. Uh, all of these are really important issues and um, you should believe what the other person tells you. I mean, you may change your mind, but don't count on the other person changing their mind um, uh, because uh, maybe they will, but take what they tell you at, first, at face value. So if you're seeing, if you want a big family and you're seeing someone who doesn't want children at all, you shouldn't assume that they're going to change their mind over time. You should, that could lead to a lot of unhappiness. Um, you should believe them. And if that's very important to you, then they might not, might not be the right person for you in the long run. Yes, and if you decide to move in together, um, be on the same page. Um, it doesn't work very well if one of you is moving in together because you're hoping this will lead to marriage and the other one simply wants to reduce their monthly rent payments. So make sure you know why you're moving in together uh, before you do. So again, it's that communicate step of pushing yourself to have difficult conversations, and that will serve you well over the course of your relationship if you get comfortable early on being transparent and honest with each other. Yes, because the communications patterns that you establish early on um, are likely to be the ones that you continue to use throughout your relationship.